Hey, this is Jessica from goodenoughandstuff.com. Today we'll be making a poke cake. It's jello, it's cake, it's whipped cream, it's fruit, it's... I guess that's all that it is. And uh, now you don't have to watch the video, but it'd be great if you did, so... <laughs> I guess... It's so simple, but it's delicious and it's really beautiful, and I think it is. And um, I hope you like it. All right, today we're gonna be making a dessert for the 4th of July. You're gonna need a white box cake mix. I just got this great value one. It's like 88 cents. And then for the cake mix, you just make it like the cake says, where you'll need water, a three by nine, 13 by nine inch pan. Um, you'll need a half a cup of oil and then four egg whites. Um, and a, a one and a quarter cup of water. So we'll go ahead and make the cake You'll just follow the instructions on the box. So make the cake and then bake it and then let it cool. I just put the water and the oil together. So this is one and a quarter cup of water and a half a cup of oil. Then you do four egg whites and you just need to separate them first. I usually just use the shell of the eggs to separate them. So the reason why I'm using the white cake mix is because um, since we're going to be using jello with this, um, you're going to want just you're going to want something that's just really really white, so you don't want the yellow in there, and you don't want to buy a, a yellow cake mix because then once you put the other colors in, it just kind of um, messes with the color of the jello. So like since we're doing blue today, if you did blue and then a yellow cake mix, you'll end up with green, which is pretty. That's what you're going for. <clears throat> but it's just the contrast of the bright white and the bright blue is really pretty. Okay, so I decided to do it in this. You can get um, these from Walmart for a couple bucks and there's like two in a pack. It has the kind of thoroughly disposable thing and then uh, the top that goes with it. it just comes off. Um, we're going to be taking it to somebody's house and I'd rather not have give them dishes to do. <laughs> so I'm going to do this. I'm going to spray it with Pam so that it comes out easily at, at, when you want to like, take slices out. And then just pour the thing. Okay, then we're just going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until um, something comes out. Or you put a fork in it and it comes out clean without any like chunks of anything on it. And it bounces. Yeah. And if you hit it, it bounces. That's right. Yeah. Okay, since Mary is now roller skating on the carpet instead of in the kitchen, I am going to talk about the jello. Um, this is a six ounce thing of berry blue jello. You can actually use any jello you want. And it's just really pretty and really bright. So. But because this is for 4th of July stuff, I'm using blue, and then we'll do strawberries on top for red, white, and blue. The way that I did it is um, just basically just doing one cup of hot water and just making it really concentrated. And while that is microwaving, I'm going to use this thing. I think it's um, to sharpen knives to poke a bunch of holes in the cake. So I'm just going to do that really quick and show you. Here we have the jello. Um, and you want the jello to be, um, you want the powder to be dissolved so that when you lift up the spoon, you don't see any like granules anymore. Um, we're gonna pour it into all the holes and stuff. Try and pour it in the middle before it kind of gets to the sides. And then just try and cover everything, get it all in all the holes. Now you want this to cool down, you can stick it in the fridge, or um, I just like to put it in the freezer for like 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put the whipped cream on now, I'm going to put a really thick layer on, just because whipped cream, you can't really ever have too much of it. <laughs> but it's like, it's beautiful too, it's so pretty. So I'm going to stick it on right now. Okay, so I just checked and I don't have any more fresh strawberries. All of my kids ate them all. <laughs> so I'll put some peaches on here and see what that looks like. Just really quickly, I'm gonna show you how to cut some nice slices of peaches. Because there's a pit in the inside, you can't just like cut across it. So you just cut into it like this. 
and then right next to it, kind of an angle, hopefully this is like focused. You just cut at an angle, kind of meeting it at the pit all the way down. And then you just kind of turn your knife a little bit, pop it out. There you go. I don't know if this is a focus or if it's not. <laughs> Cameras, can I do them? I don't know. This is the whole thing. You just have a cake, you have jello, you have whipped cream, and you just have some fruit. It hails back to the day of like when they used to make jello everything. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.